All right, welcome to the Hellion Rocks. We're here with the band Strikes at One. You guys, go around the room and introduce yourselves. My name is Matt Malloy. I play guitar. Brett Campbell, vocalist. Jordan Hankey, bass. Bo Richard, drums. Cool. First thing I got to ask you guys is the name Strikes at One. How did that come to be? Go to close for that question. Uh, it was a dream, actually. Uh, I met a girl, and she told me to meet her at Strikes at One, bowling alley. Nice. I thought that'd be a cool band name. There it is. Sure enough, it took us a year to come up with a name. Everything we came up with, we had to we look, looked up, and uh, it was taken. Yeah, it was we, taken these days. We had a lot of different names, but then uh, somebody in the band was never happy with it. They actually finally set up the strikes and one after quite some time. And, uh, you know, the name's kind of taken on a new meaning as well. And yeah. Kind of as a, like a reference to time. You know, strikes at one o'clock, perhaps, maybe not necessarily, but kind of a reminder of our time on this world is limited. Take life for me. But the big picture is for me, I think it's fun. Strikes it fun. Strikes it fun. There you go. <laughs> Which gets to the point where we're trying to make music you know, with a purpose, you know, not to, you know, rather just to jump around and, you know, like we're having fun, which we're trying to do, but, you know, we've got the purpose of the music and uh, so people can connect with it. That's, that's, that's the goal. So. so, speaking of the music, how long did you guys, how long have you been together and how did this come to be? These guys actually are the start. Yeah, we started playing when we were 12 together. We grew up next to each other. Yeah, we had an old band. We grew up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then, then I went to uh, law school, got out of music, and then these guys hooked up after a while. And you yeah. guys started. It's kind of a funny field. story how me and him met actually in LA. We, uh, <laughs> I was looking for a singer for a project. I was trying to start my own project, and I had a bunch of different singers I'd auditioned. So I'd had different people sending me tracks. Brett was one of them. I didn't know him at the point. And he sent me some stuff, I didn't get back to him, there had been a few other people, I just kind of spaced on it, and uh, about six days later he emails me back, he's like, if you're not even going to write back, like, fuck you or whatever, he gives me some shit, like, he's basically like, talking to them. So, me being the uh, arrogant guy, I'm just like, write back to him, well, I didn't respond to you because your shit was weak, that was my direct quote, like a one sentence thing. Did you listen to yeah, it? Yeah, you I listened to it before, I kind of skimmed over it on computer speakers, and then my friend who I was living with, we lived, we, I worked in a recording studio, so he put some in, the song on, and the good speakers, and he's like all on my side, like, yeah, that guy's probably a jerk. Let's put it on just to laugh at it. And he hears it, and he's like, you fucked up, Matt. You're an idiot. Call this guy. And I was like, swallowed my pride. I actually called him right then. And I was like, hey, man, I'm sorry for like, being a dick. Long story short, we started playing, and then, yeah, picked him up in L.A., joined different bands, and four years later hit him up about this project because we were looking for a singer. So we ended up, uh, yeah, you know, he ended up looking past my uh, being a dick, and now he's part of the band. He's the, the front band. <laughs> He's always, uh, always going to have that on you, right? Yeah, he's always got that on me. <laughs> so, so, writing the music, do you guys um, bring stuff in separately, or do you guys just jam out the songs come from that, or how's the writing process for you guys? Well, you know, a lot, a lot of it uh, at the beginning was Matt, pretty much, you know, the workhorse writing. Uh, he would come with, you know, ideas and some songs completely done. Uh, Bo and I would maybe put a little tweak on it. You know, I think the bass line yeah. structure that all together. Yeah, and then a couple of songs, some of the more recent ones, you know, he just comes with a piece or I come with a piece and then we just kind of, you know, throw it together. But it's, uh, for the most part, Matt's views are coming with, you know, majority of, you know, the material and then we kind of just melt it down. Make but it our own. I would say, though, that, like, I come in with ideas, but it's definitely not, like, my, my, uh, my main goal, like I'll bring ideas, I just throw out stuff, and then Brett will pick something up that sounds good, and he writes to it. These guys can play to anything. They have some cool stuff that's just kind of they developed and brought to the table, so it's kind of like a eclectic mix. And the more we get to, the more we get to know each other. Like when we started, it was predominantly written a lot of stuff by me, but now it's kind of getting to the point where we're really starting to write in a band. And I really think our new stuff is really coming along more solid now. So that's kind of the direction we're progressing is to combine a lot of uh, a lot of our styles, you know. As far as the lyrics go, I do write. Yeah, he writes all the lyrics. Yeah. That's usually what happens. Yeah, yeah. Singers, yeah. Like, I tried. He's like, this sucks. <laughs> throws it, throws it at me. He's like, you said my shit was weak, man. I'm not gonna listen to your lyrics. So big news for you guys, right? Rock Yeah, we're stoked. Yeah. You guys are happy about that? Yes, yeah. very happy. So I, I know there's some other bands that you know I'm familiar with: uh, Sunset Riot, Emerald City, uh, London's Dungeon. Now you guys, a lot of, a lot of. Fans on the move or headed to Rock, Oklahoma. That's a cool, cool outlet for you guys. You know, how did that come about? Well, our manager actually booked this whole tour for us. Uh, Mark Rasmussen from Street Loyal Management, and he kind of connected us with the stage. He got us in the running, and then our music ended up being a good fit. People say Brett has a similar style, like you know, 
Alice in Chains meets Tool as far as vocals, and we're opening up for Alice in Chains on that day, so it seems like it's a good fit for yeah. music. We're really lucky and really stoked on it. Awesome. Can't wait to get out there, man. So post Rock Oklahoma, what's what's the plans? What's it look like for you guys? Yeah, I think we've been we've been running a lot. Uh, first tour was uh, end of January in Southwest uh, through Texas, Louisiana, and back. Uh, you know, doing this one again. We really want to, I think, kind of go into a little microcosm, write some new material. Uh, maybe you know, take be out of the picture for maybe about two months and we'll come back with new material and record it. Uh, yeah, and just come out swinging. Yeah, we have a show June 8th when we come back. We'll be playing sporadic gigs, but we really want to focus on kind of capitalizing on the new writing. We have a lot of good ideas, and we'd like to get in there. Our EP is solid, but it was recorded a decent amount of time ago. I feel like our newer stuff would be a better representation. I'm not saying that other stuff's not great, but I like the new stuff better. Too, for sure. Yeah, I like the direction we're going better. I'd like other people to be able to hear some of that too. Very cool. Floor's your guys. Now, anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to say to anybody? It's all you. Oh, well, I don't know. I would just like to open up. I know you write about a lot of interesting shit, man. Like, maybe you can give a little spiel about where you're coming from musically. And yeah, I mean, my uh, uh, it's definitely right. Just depth. You know, it's like a lot of meaning. A lot of it's you know, I write stuff. It's it's uh, abstract in a way. You know, I, where I, I'm sure only I get the full meaning of it, but that's the awesome about music. It, it'll mean different things to different people. Right, you know? that's, right. that's what I like. I don't, want to mean, I don't want to mean the same thing to everybody that it means to me. It's got to be people get their own interpretation out of it. I think that's what it's all about. Like, you think about, I think about when I was, you know, younger. I was a small town country boy, man, driving tractor, listening to Alice in Chains and shit, you know, just, that's, that's why I, the way I came up. And that's where how it inspired me at such a young age, you know, I'm like, that's what inspires me. If I could, like, if I can connect with, you know, especially the younger generation or whatever, and like they can really, they can grasp that same feeling that I can get in music at an early age, like that's fucking awesome. That's so, yeah. and and one thing too that really struck me when I was speaking with you, James, is uh, you were saying that just kind of we share a similar view that you know we grew up in an era where there's a lot of good rock bands in the '90s era, and such, and then no, it's, it's not that there's a void, but yeah, there's not as much. <laughs> but I think there's a movement to bring it back. And, yeah, we're like. I think we're, Gotta be a big part of it. I would really, yeah, I really, and I appreciate what you do as far as trying to discover bands that are like on a smaller level. I know you found us before we even like we didn't submit any to you. You found us. I thought that was right. really cool that you're out there looking yeah. and trying to hear, and uh, you're kind of yeah, good coming out here and you know trying to give us some fuel for what we're doing. And I don't know, we want to do the same thing, man. I mean, I, I really feel like music's a powerful thing. It gets kind of sugar coated and commercialized and packaged in various forms nowadays, which it is what it is, but. I don't know, I think for us, we're not, we're really trying to do something that means something, but that people will like to, and they'll actually get somewhere. Yeah. We'll make a statement that will people actually give a shit about. Uh, exactly, and I think all of us, we're kind of uncompromising about, you know, the type of music we want to play. Uh, we're not going to just gonna throw, you know, a softball, you know, out there, like, you know, radio can beat up. We really, I think, are honest with our music and our passion about it. Sticking to your guns. Yeah, not trying to be anything but ourselves. Cool. Yeah. All right, strikes at one. Oh, and website, website? Strikesat1.com. Yeah. Watch out for these guys. They're coming to get yeah. you. Thank you. We'll see you soon, guys. Yeah. Peace. Shut up.